a cold and foggy Wednesday here in uh, Evergreen. It's um, yeah, it's quite. It's how was it? 20 Celsius or Fahrenheit? 20 Fahrenheit? I don't know how, how much is that. My somewhere below zero for sure. Um, so cold. So um, yesterday I thought uh, I was actually texting with Marga because Marga is doing the live next Wednesday. And I said, oh, something with the beautiful blooms. And then I thought, well, you know, it was sunny yesterday. And I see some signs of spring uh, that people trying to get to spring already in Europe. Here we need to wait for quite some time. But, uh, you know, I thought beautiful blooms. So we, do, we are doing a special with the beautiful blooms from Diane and Sonia. And um, it's 20% off for a full week. So Marga is going to end it next Wednesday. And 20% um, off using code BLOOM20, BLOOM20 uh, at checkout. And it's also on the watercolors because I did include the watercolors because I, you know, I'm a big fan of the watercolors. And, um, yeah, you know, I love these. So um, it's your chance to get your hands on these as well. Beautiful color chart on the back. Beautiful colors. I will show that in a second. But um, so that's included in the sale as well, because lots of the cards I'm showing you are actually created using uh, the watercolors. So other than that, I think, do I have anything else to say? No, Bloom 20. No, I think that's it. So I'm going to look for you. So let's turn the camera around, Mark, and then I will get started. We actually have Mark here in the studio and Anya. Um, so um, kind of Mark is showing. You see, I raised my table a little bit. You see my table here. Because I raised it a bit. Um, so, um, I'm going to first one I'm going to show you. Hi, everybody. Let me see who's there. Crystal, Yvonne, Tracy. The storage on the background. What's my storage? Yeah, I don't know what my storage is here. But uh, I'm cleaning up still, Tracy. I, I told you, like, we're going to go uh, a third smaller in, my, uh, in the new house. My craft room will be... I think not even, well, maybe a quarter from what I had now, but this was too big. So now I have the big one here. Hi, D uh, David. So David will be here on Friday during the live. That's exciting. And um, uh, yeah, so I need to kind of, uh, you know, concentrate everything here. And I just have home what I like my day-to-day -day, uh, things, which is kind of exciting. So a little bit more organized. And hi, Jen. Hi, Femke. Hi, Lori. Hi, Catherine. And Chris, Krista is here. Hi, everybody. And I think I needed to say one thing. I think we're sold out for the retreat. But uh, we're starting a waiting list. Because at the end, so for the retreat uh, in uh, Estes Park. And I I think we're, uh, you know, starting a wait list. Because at the end, somebody might not be able to come. Or something might happen or whatever. So uh, if you want to be on the wait list, you can uh, contact Terry or on that as well, but uh, there is an email, I think, on the website. Oh, minus 22 in Edmonton, Canada. Oh, my goodness. Claudia, yeah, Edmonton can be so cold. I'm actually, we're going the direction of Canada uh, next Tuesday, but uh, like to Banff or, or Canmore. But Edmonton is uh, way colder. But you can go to the mall, uh, Claudia. You have that big, beautiful mall there. So you can go there and probably warm up, even take a swim, I know, because I've been there. Uh, okay, so what I have... Oh, yeah, you can always uh, watch back, eh, Katrina? You can always watch back. Uh, hi, Ruli and uh, Diane. And of course, uh, like, comment and share. And what I have here... Um, what do you have? Uh, okay, yeah. What I have here is uh, samples from uh, Marga. And they took a long time to get here. And uh, so I thought I need to give them uh, just because they are really pretty. I know these are created by Marga in some of her lives as well. So if you want to uh, see how these are created, uh, go to Marga's uh, YouTube channel. I don't know if she's here, uh, but uh, you can uh, go there, Marga Downer, and then uh, see how these are created. So uh, I'm just going to go through them. You see that beautiful bird. She has a stencil here. That's a stencil from Ilse and Charlene. Absolutely love the colors on that one. Hey, Marga. There you are. I was just starting to show your uh, cards, Marga. Can you please put your link in here to your YouTube channel? Uh, so people can see uh, how you created most of these. Um, then this one, absolutely love this. So this is also a stencil from Ilse and Charlene. But I love the colors what Marga did here. So like a, 
a pale green in the back and then some red splatters I'm always splattering with white or black but look how pretty that red is and then um, the coloring of course is gorgeous so that's that one then this one also a stencil from Ilse and Charlene one of the small ones so these are all the small ones I have those here and let me show those to you because they are actually I just took them off the ring because I was cleaning some up but um, I have them all here so uh, you see so these are all the stencils from Ilse and Charlene and those are the ones that um, Marga used here but uh, so that's that one then this one is the sunflower and only some splattering and I will bring it up a little bit so you can see the like the detail on the, if you see the coloring from Marga it is just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful you see so it's uh, it's really pretty and um, this is one uh, with the background from Josette from the winter special and um, and then here the uh, cardinal she made it into a cardinal I've seen it in all different colors there was actually a card online yesterday I think uh, in blue so you can oh thank you Marga I saw it there so please subscribe to Marga's YouTube channel uh, so you can get you get the notifications when uh, she's there no, uh, Penny, those are not new stencils. Uh, Ilse and Charlene ha have three little sets of ten stencils now. I think one is in a special, but the other two you can just buy. And I love uh, how these are, the little ones. I know, she's a watercolor queen, David. I agree. I love this one, and I know I kind of tried to recreate this one in one of my lives. Oh, here, this one. Uh, I think I made a stamped one as well. Did I do it both? Let me see. Yeah, I tried it both. So I did two. Uh, so Marga did this one first. And now I see that this is paste on here. And of course, beautiful coloring. And then I did these two. And I, you know, I, you know, it's all different coloring. So one is, uh, you see, so the right one is for Marga. And then you see, I did some stenciling there. And I did some on the red berries. I did something. But how cool is this? And uh, when I see this, uh, I have to think about... Um, you know, just putting a few deers uh, behind each other, kind of make it a little group, which is fun. And of course, right now, I don't see the deer. When we're in our new house, I will see deer again. I'm going to put this away for a second. This is actually all the stuff that I'm going to work with. I have quite some fun stuff to show you, I think, in a bit. So um, so here we are. Also, this also that's one of the largest stencils. That is from the Planner Essentials and of course combined because that's really, I'm going to lift this up as well because it is so pretty. We have a little shadow uh, there. Is it from a power cord or something? I don't know. I see a little shadow, but uh, oh no, it's actually good. Do you, you see the detail? It's just absolutely beautiful. I know, uh, Dana, and that's why I asked uh, Marga to put her... Um, Put a link in here as well because then you can learn a lot from that. And everybody has their own style because, uh, you know, it's not all uh, that we all have the same. But um, I love these little stars here. I think this will, if I'm correct, because I saw this one. If I'm correct, Marga, these are little stickers that you glittered. This one as well. Beautiful paper. And I got some of that, Marga, from your paper. Thank you for that. Love this. Also a stencil from Ilse and Charlene. Love the coloring on this one. And just some splattering as well. You know, a little bit of splattering makes everything look really nice. This one, I think this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. Is it sharp? There you go. You see, the coloring on that one is just really pretty. And I know um, um, Marga also uses Distress Ink a lot. You know, I'm a fan of Distress Ink as well. And I just love to color. That's basically what I really like to do. So uh, I'm going to put these away. And then I'm going to show you. I can still use it on Facebook. Try getting rid of... Uh, okay. Just trying to catch up. Um, oh, the Art Journal Collection. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you. Yeah. And of course, that's what I love to do. Eh? The mixing and the matching. So um, what I have here, I have I have stuff here. Stuff. Because this one I colored a long time ago. And then that's the advantage of being here with everything. Because normally I had to bring everything from home. And now I have everything here. So I think, oh, I can... Uh, I have this here. I have that here. I have all my pizza boxes here. So I got sunflowers out of this one. Oh, there's a word here. That's from another one. And... Um, 
so I got all my boxes here. So I got all, you know, all these boxes out there. I thought, oh, fun stuff, fun stuff. So I'm going to use some of that. Then I made a background. And that's why I was talking about uh, with, uh, with you, Mark. I kind of, I had this idea. But um, I'm going to show you how I did that. Because I think it looks cool. Here, let me, let me bring this up as well. It's, uh, you see, it's, I kind of do different things. I just played this morning, basically. That's what I did here. And it's, um, it was fun to do. And then I have these. These are already colored. Uh, and this is actually Copic. This is watercolor. Of course, you can use all your uh, different color mediums. So I'm going to work with that one. Then I had this background. You know that from the, uh, with the jelly plate. So I made this one. And I cut cardstock to put that together. And then I thought I had some stuff like these. Because I have a little black border. Then I thought, because I had these already colored here. You see? And then I have the quote and had a little banner. So I'm going to do something with that. And then I'm also got. You see, this is just stuff that I um, kind of... Uh, I found this little piece in one of my pizza boxes. And this one... Uh, I will do the last, but uh, this one was fun because, you know, uh, Ilse and Charlene, they have their prompts. And uh, Esther has that now as well. But Ilse and Charlene have their prompts. And um, this month, it's curated uh, cardstock. So I found a little bit of that. So I thought, let's do a, a little uh, kind of play with that. Then I found this butterfly, also from the Art Journal line. And that is curated cardstock that I die cut and then... Um, flattened out i think again in my die cutting machine so i thought that would be cool kind of the theme from then and i want to show you where to find it because i asked uh, so i have my phone here and i have a oh i took a picture here this one so if you go to oh wait i can actually go to journal with us so if you go to journal with us this one so this is the page from ilse and charlene and then if you go down and of course subscribe because you know you join you don't need to subscribe, join. If you scroll down, what uh, Ilse did, she put all the prompts here. But they will decide. So you see them in the picture. And the top one here is curated cardstock. And um, so there are 12 prompts here. But they will decide uh, on the go at the beginning of each month. Uh, you can find um, you can find what, the, what their theme will be. So, um, oh, and I see just Mara posted, you see. So there's a lot in there already, you see. So there's really cool posts already. Tracy did uh, with the curated Anna here. Uh, oh, that's the journal with us. You see, so there's all uh, yeah, this one from Ariana. So you can see those all already. So uh, for the people, the journalers, go to journal with us and lots of inspiration there. And if you click on this one, I'm actually going to print this picture. So I have them all 12 already. But Ilse and Charlene will let you know which one they're going to do this month. So, uh, and I had kind of had to look for it. I said, where are they? And she said, oh, they're in the picture. But we're going to decide later what we're going to do. So that's that one. So that will be my last one because that's really a play one. I'm looking forward to that one. To see, you see, and this is from the stamps. So, and I can see, you know, this is just a fun bunch to work with. So I'm going to put that aside for now. And then I want to go quickly through the uh, stamps. So I can show you for the people that are new to it. So uh, we have stamps and dies. So that's just, I will do a quick uh, recap on that. So we have for each set, we have, uh, dies are gone with this one. I probably used those. But if you look at this, is that this die set? No, I got it here. Wait, together. Here. So each set has a stamp set and a die set. So the dies, and they cut beautifully around all the stamps. So you get 20% discount on all those using code um, BLOOM20. I know, I know, uh, David, yeah, you know. But uh, so this one, and you can find them all on the, but look at the detail that it cuts out. You see here as well, it cuts out all those pieces. Look at that. It, it, they cut beautifully. Absolutely love the designs. And for people that never heard about these stamps, uh, they are from Sonia and Diane. And Sonia is a tattoo artist. And Diane is uh, like a card maker, like a scrapbook or a journalist. And, you know, she does all kind of things. So, uh, kind of together, they decided on this collection. And I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm just going to go through those quickly. But if you look at the detail, they're really, they're just really pretty. See? Yeah. 
This one, look at the detail on this one. I always say that that's so detailed, the die cuts. And here you have that little deer I showed you. And then this one. And I think one more. So we have 12 sets now. And we will start working on new ones, I hope, shortly. I'm just getting in contact uh, with them about that. So that's the collection. So what I have here is... Oh, Alison, hello from Denver. You're close, Alison. We are in Evergreen. Uh, so I have a base cut, so that's a 6x6. Six six. Then I have a white, because I wanted to have a little white border, because there's a white border on the die cut uh, stamps. Of course, you can edge that a little bit, which I might do. And then the black here that goes on the white, so that will be a tiny, tiny border. So what I'm going to do first, and this one I created uh, with a jelly plate, and there is a live from not last week, but I think the week before. Um, uh, that... Um, that I show you how I did that. And honestly, we were just uh, just playing. And um, that's actually one of the things that we uh, probably do at the event as well as an extra at the retreat. Kind of play with the jelly plate uh, one night. So it's not one of the classes, but an extra. Which I think will be super fun. Because, um, you know, you can't go wrong. Um, you can't go wrong with that. So I'm just using the 6 mil tape here. There we go. I know, we have a fantastic creative team. I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. So I'm going to put this a little bit towards me because it's really, um, it's really ti a tiny border. So I need to make sure that I see it everywhere. And I cannot do that if I'm not pulling it towards me. Oh, it's not completely there, but you know, it's fine. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, you do? Yeah. You know, Alison, that, that's, um, I always say, because Marsha, who was on our design team, uh, like, uh, in the beginning, I think, uh, she, uh, she is like a jelly plate expert now. She lives in Amersfoort, but, um, and every time I see, uh, uh, YouTubes, I think, oh, that's great, Marsha, and of course, Begit, Begit Koops is, uh, kind of one of the ladies as well, but there's way more, but, um. It's just super fun to see and how they do it and, you know, and uh, Marcia always tells me, else just start. Because I said, oh, I have all those beautiful paints, I have all those plates. And then I, um, you know, it's just like, a, you know, you just need to get started. Just need to get started. So now I have two layers here. So I have the black coming back from the stamp. And I have the white coming back from the border. And now I am going to... Put this down and then I have the base for my card. Yeah, the stand, and now with the 20% discount, of course, that is, you know, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. There we go. Oh, the heating is on. Mark, can you turn the heat off, please? We have a heating and it blows right over my head and it's super hot in here. And normally I turn it off, but I forgot that. Thank you. Because otherwise I'm melting before I'm... Okay, so that's my background. And the one that I used here for the... As a stencil is the doily. It's in here. Yeah. You see, that's that one. So I made a stencil out of that one. The doily from... Um, uh, from Ilse and Charlene. You see, so that's the one I used as a stencil there. And that's such a versatile... Uh, a versatile uh, set. I actually have a card here. Let me find it quickly. Oh, here, this one. I use this one as a, so I made this simple background first, like a white, a black and white one, and then I added this for Christmas. So the and and the word. So very vers versatile and beautiful die. I have to say, I have some really nice samples in here. I have some, but you sh kind of you show. I, I show these already, but you see from Anita, and you can find them all online uh, as well. Uh, so that's that. And then I thought, I, this was cut off because I had extra. So I thought, am I going to put that here? And I uh, roughed up all the edges with uh, that thing, you see. So all the edges are roughed up because uh, then, um, you know, if something is not completely straight, it doesn't bother me that much. Quebec here is still snowing today. We are covered with snow. I think we get some, um, I think we get some, well, it's white. No, it's more misty here. Which made it beautiful uh, because you had all those frozen, um, 
frozen trees today which was actually pretty 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 so i'm thinking that i um going to distress a little bit there which which color i can just do let me see just going to take my regular my fade bird up here so just because if you want to get rid of the, a little bit of the white the worst part you just you know edge it a little bit makes it takes off a little bit of the edge of the white of course you can be more precise with that but i don't want to have it all you see so that it's less really white oh there it goes it's off so we winterized our whole rv again yesterday because it was getting too cold oh and this one as well so this is one of the sayings I don't know. Oh, it's actually from the Sunflower set. It says, some days you just have to create your own sunshine. You know, kind of works for today because there's no sunshine today. We have a lot of sunshine in uh, Colorado. I think we're one of the basically sunniest states. Is that correct, Mark? If I say that, is Colorado one of the sunniest states? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So we got lots and lots of sunshine. And then with the snow, you know, you've seen my pictures from the former house that if you are... Having the snow and then the, um, so this one goes there. And then the, um, uh, you know, the sunshine and the cold. I absolutely love that. I love that. Is that the art journal page you see on here? Art journal page? Yeah, what you got here. Oh, the, this one. That is from uh, Ilse and Charlene. That is, oh, do you see? That's Brooks. <laughs> uh, that is journal with us. No, 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 just journal with us, Mark, not our journal. Journal with us, three words. Thank you. Yeah, so subscribe because uh, Ilse and Charlene are very active. Uh, some of the things are in Dutch, but I know there's a lot of people on there. Um, and there's a lot of things in English as well. But um, there is some Dutch. Oh, okay. Calgary, Alberta. Canada is one of the sunniest places. I know. I know. You know I've lived there. I know my sister is in Calgary, so that's that's why we are. Uh, I have a sister in Calgary, and we lived in um, Caroline and uh, Kenmore. No, Cochrane. Sorry, Caroline and Cochrane, and uh, now we have a little house in a little apartment in Kenmore. So that's where we were going. So I have these. These are so super handy. If I could buy these, these are from uh, my old employer, Brownsdale. They they called. Um, so the re I think this, these must be 20 years old or something, or 15 years old. Klasse plakkers, it was called. So we sold those to schools. And I found a bit of that. So I want to have this a little bit higher. Kind of give it a little bit of texture. And then here as well. These are so, so one of those things that I kind of, uh, I know Carrie Ann Canmore is. And I honestly think if I would ever do something in uh, Canada for an event, there is a, a really nice place on the old highway one that I really like at the lake. And I know there's something in Kenmore as well, but we'll see. So, and then I had these two. Let me see what else I had. So I was thinking to do the banner, but I also might. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And I have other, and for the people that are new to pizza boxes, the pizza box is fabulous. I have my little rack here with all my pizza boxes in it. Also so handy. Uh, you see, I have all kind of things here. I also have this one. Let me see. And because I don't want to hide the whole pattern there. Just trying to figure out what I like. This might be nice for on the ground, kind of as a ground there. Wait. I'm going to snip this one. Hi, Terry. How are you? How are you? I'm just going to kind of trim this. Kind of see if I want to make a kind of a bottom here. There we go. Da, 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 da. Maybe I like that. What do we think? What do we think? And then... Ta, 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 that one or this one. Let me see. These were the kind of two things I wanted to play with. That might be a little bit too much. But if I put this over it. It's, oh, all the way around. And it tones it down. Bits. Oh, I like that as well. 
Joyce says, thank you, Diane. So Diane is here, Diane Prince. So that's the one uh, together with Sonia. Do I put my sunflowers on the ground, like in the ground, like this? Hmm. I might like that. I'm going to put uh, some of these there and then I can easily lift that up, I think. And then kind of slide something. Yeah, Alison, that's, yeah. And that's what I uh, love about, of course, about the pizza box because I have a ton of, how many do I have here already? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I think I have about 40 pizza boxes here for sure with all my parts in there. And you can just grab that and then, uh, you know, go with that. So I'm going to put this here for now. And I know I can lift it up. You see, so this is just the side from the piece of um, of what I made. And then I'm wondering if I'm going to slide this underneath there or work with these. I kind of like these. So I'm going to play with these. And then I save the text. So this can go back in here. You see, I, I got the like the earthy backgrounds. And there's so much in here, you see. This is, but, uh, you know, the color isn't correct for this one. But that's a really nice one as well. So this is all art journal stuff. Oh, I even have some in yellow. Oh, get those out. Get that out. Maybe that's nice to mix in. Oh, got another black one here. Oops. That should be enough to play with. Take a little sip of my coffee. Mm -hmm. We have a coffee machine here. So that actually makes life really nice here. Although it's almost cold again. Uh, so I'm just going to play with these. Kind of slide them. Oh, I can go under because I only... Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. I think that's going to be fun. Yeah, Jen, that's what I like as well. Because the stamp, I stamped in black. And then I have that really black border. I like that the white is coming back. Because if that white is not coming back here, I think that pops too much. So by adding the border here, it kind of, you know, tones everything, kind of brings it all together, I think. Okay, so just a little bit of this. Just going to play it as I know there is tape here, but I also think I can... Oh, they're really sticky, even after so many years. Oh, maybe like this. Let's see. Because honestly... It's fine how it fells. That's good. Don't make it too, too fussy about it. And this one I might slide underneath here a bit. Kind of go there. It comes out at the bottom a bit. I like that. And then a little bit here. And then I'm going to add the... Um, then I'm going to add the word somewhere. So this is the Kids' Choice glue. And that is... Hi, Summer. I know, Alison. For my new craft room, maybe. For my new craft room. Or here. Because I'm actually cleaning up here now, of course. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And not the yellow. No, that's too much. A little bit of yellow. No, too much. The black is just fine. So these go back in the box as well. Or do I want to have one piece on top? Let me see. Maybe I want to have one piece on top as well. Am I going to trim that? No, don't be too picky. I like that. You see, and that banner, that little banner now gives texture. And Anna, Anya is new here. Anya, I actually put the glue under the table, Anya. That's just what we do here. <laughs> she thinks, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will have a nice, yeah, a good craft room, but I don't want it to be that big because I, uh, in the other house, it was really big and I saved all, all my stuff there that I also need for the business, but I just put it all here now and organizing that. And, um, yeah, then it's all here, which is easier for me. And I'm only 20 minutes away. What die set are those black things? Oh, that is one from the, from the art journal line, uh, Mark or, uh, Anya, if you can see that this is Art Journal uh, from Ilse and Charlene, the background. And I don't know the name out of my head. because And I, I had a paper here. Else Craft from Studio Tour. I don't know who asked that, but not now. <laughs> Did you do that, Mark? 
<laughs> but I love the question. When it's done. When it's done, I will do a studio tour. <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> okay, where am I going to put that? Now I'm going to put... Who did that? Did, did you do it? <laughs> no, Mark. Look around you. Not yet. And I'm leaving next week. I, I hope to get it done before next week. So I'm uh, Monday will be my last live here. Uh, so if it's done, I'm definitely going to show you around. Okay, there. Is that straight? Is that straight? I think it is. Oh, Mark is making a poll. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know, Diane. Those be I honestly, uh, Ilse and Shaleen have the best background dyes. They are really... Ver and all that, the whole line is... Um, and <laughs> it pops up again, Mark. So I like that. So that is that one. Then I'm going to put this one together. And I am... And I'm going to show you the background, how I did that with the next one. But I just had this. And I think I'm going to pop that up. And then... Um, what I have here. Oh, that's, that's the sticky stuff. I like the good stuff. Did you vote yes, Katrina? <laughs> yeah. You just need to be a little bit more patient. Because that's honestly, you don't want to see it now. Although there's nothing to hide. It's just, I moved my craft room from home here. And when you start moving, you know you have a lot of stuff. I told you that. It's, there's a lot. There was a lot of stuff in my uh, in my craft room. Something that uh, Jupp and Mark already knew. No, I knew it as well. But um, kind of bringing that, you know, bringing that here really will be nice. And we're only new houses only like the other one was 40 minutes away. The new one is only 20 minutes away. So it's, um, it's closer. So it makes it easier to go here. Makes it easier to go here. Oh, Anya also... <laughs> I think we have a... Is it anybody that voted no, Mark? Is it all yes? <laughs> uh, th three people don't want to see it. Three people don't want to see it? That's this... Point. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no. You know, it might be... Um... No, it's actually... No, it's fun. When it's messy, it's a sign of... Yeah. Yeah, Margaret, that's absolutely true, eh? But it's... Uh... Oh, fail voted two times yes. It's, uh, oh, earth background. Thank you. Oh, that's the earthy background. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the the other one with the circles, you see. That's why I should not say something, because I don't know. And I think this should fit on here. And you see, so this is also a background uh, from the stems. From, this is actually from the, this is the leaf from the poppy one. So let me show you that one. Well, I don't know if I, oh, I have it here, of course. Yeah. Let me see. Poppy, poppy, poppy. This one. So I use the leaf here, you see? And I'm going to do the same technique with another stamp in a second, just to show you how I did. Because that's honestly something I wanted to do, but I did not know how it was going to look. But uh, And then I had this one already colored. And then I love, like, this, this branch is just so pretty as well. So I thought I'm going to put... And then I do not have a center, or do I want to have it on this side? So I can... No, somehow I think it needs to be here. But of course, what I could also do, I could also... Can I trim this one? Because sometimes that's nice as well. I'm going to try. Because I like to do that as well. So I'm going to... Because I want to have this piece. So I'm going to leave the white border on this piece. Let me see if I can trim this one. That I can use it differently. And then I'm going to... Just go down here, and then you see right away that this now needs to be tucked under somewhere. And uh, you know as well, so I cut this off now, and I know I showed it in a different live already. Because if you have a, uh, what's this, a 08? Yeah, that's fine. So if you die cut this, now I see the stamp here. What I do, um, if I want to use it as is, I just take my white gel pen, and I'm getting rid of those extra pieces on the side. What makes it look like it is, uh, you see, so you don't see that X, so it doesn't look cut off anymore. And I can do that, well, this one doesn't need it, but I can do that with different uh, things. This will actually be a really nice one as well. Let me trim this one. If I trim this one, you see, so now I have three pieces that I can use. And this is actually a really nice piece as well. Oh, 
that's fun. And then that's the big leaf that I can use. So, um, so this one I'm going to raise so I can tuck the other pieces underneath there. Thank you, Summer. Just going to put some over there. Put this one here. You see, so now that's raised, so that makes it easy to tuck the other. Um, the square one is six by six. Yeah, this is a six by six. This is a five by seven. That's a five by seven card. And now I have all the, you see, so now I can use all these. Oh, I like that there as well. Oh, that's nice. Kind of connects it to the top a little bit. Oh, like that. Going to do that one. Have you thought about selling magnetic sheets that fit? No. Margaret, I, the, uh, the amount of transportation problems we have already, uh, adding magnetic sheets to that. Honestly, I buy a, and I'm, I'm ready for a new one. If you go online, I buy a big roll. I buy a big roll. It's, it's big, like this wide. And it, it cuts beautiful like the pieces that I need. So I have all the different sizes because then I have smaller ones for your sets. I have smaller ones for the art journal line, large ones. So then I can cut it any, um, any way I want. And I like that. So, um, yeah. So I like the big magnetic roll. And I'm on my third roll uh, now, I think. Oh, I do that. I like that cutting in pieces. I like that. You see, figured out something new again. That's when you play this one here. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. And you see, I only did um, glue at the bottom. So, because I like when this stands up a bit. So, that's fine. And now I do not need this one because that's going to make it too full. So, now I only use that branch, you see. When will the pockets are in the shop in the Netherlands? Uh, Claudia, uh, I hope next week. I hope next week. I'm waiting for some pictures from Esther and from the team, but uh, I hope next week. So those are those two. And this one, I don't, do not have a uh, uh, saying left right now, but I can, I will find one. I have this one if I want to use that, but that's on a different color of white. Is that the same? That's, oh, that's actually, this one says the universe is full of magical things patiently waiting our wits to grow sharper. It actually looks pretty nice there. I think I put it in the correct position. I will use that one there. Oh, Val, you mean uh, the, the magnetic roll? Oh, I need to look it up. I need to, because Yuk always orders it for me. So I will look it up. Karin, they don't fit in a piece of... Yeah, so... Um, if it's about the magnetic sheet. So now this one, I did not press it down yet, because I need to make sure it's straight. Yeah, next week. I think next week. They are in stock, but we need to kind of prepare a few things before we can release that. So I'm just going to see if this line is up on the card here. It's off a little bit, and then you can move it a little bit like this. I think this is straight. I like that. Now I, oh, and now I can work on the last one. You see how beautiful? I love that arrangement, actually. Mm. I like my background as well. So that was really playing. Yeah, okay, Sharon. Yeah, I will do. I need to ask uh, Joop because Joop orders it. but um, And it's not cheap, but there is a lot on there. So you, And it's uh, sturdy as well. So my magnetic sheets are... Do I have those here? No. I don't know how thick it is, but it's it's not... Oh, this one here. I have it here for the pizza box. So that's actually the size I cut, uh, so I could cut longer. But you see, it's uh, it's uh, sturdy. So if you and I know, uh, I honestly, uh, if you buy thinner ones, you can glue it on cardstock, eh? So if you glue it on cardstock, you make it sturdy as well. But this is sturdy by itself, and it cuts really easy just with a with a craft knife. And I use a uh, quilting ruler. So like I have a big, tw I think it's 12 by 12 quilting ruler that I use, and that works just fine for that. That works just fine. Okay, got to put those here. And then I'm going to work with this stuff. With this stuff. Let me see. Oh, and I was going to uh, make the background for this one. Wait. Let me show you. So what I did. I took my Misty. My uh, stamping platform. And um, I did uh, 
like this is I cut this the size of this because I'm going to go out of the card so I cut this the size from the uh, from the misty itself and there is paper for that as well and I know I have it but I don't know yet where so they have that uh, paper with the squares on it so I just cut this myself then I put two little pieces of double sided adhesive on the back here and then I'm going to glue this to the um, to the bottom here to the paper you see so now it's there and this will stay in place so now i can stamp and then i was going to use the leaf from this one as the background and what i did is and i need to find the uh and this one might have black ink on it but i'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see i did take which color i was going to either do uh, this one or Mustard seeds probably too yellowish. I'm going to try this one first. First, first, first. So that's my upside. And I just um, did this. Oh, that is pretty. But with the green, should I? This is a. So what I did with this one, I stamped it in green and I watercolored it. And it might be too much for this one because it might disappear. So because you can watercolor your, is this a nice color? Let's see. Da, 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 da. I think that will be a nice background. Uh, and I just, uh, you see, and I just kind of play with that. Put it on there. You can, you can't get the big roll in Canada without, oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, duty, yeah. Duty, duty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. That's why the Canada they charge you duty. Yeah. So that's I'm just going to what I will do, I will just make a border in this case, so don't do the whole thing. And uh, what you might see as well here, I have a felt. So what I do is with my, um, I have a little circle of Velcro on here. And that's where I put my uh, felt. Because otherwise it's a mess. So I kind of keep it connected. Just ink it. And just move this around. That makes actually a nice frame. I'm waiting for ivy at Scrap Addict to find ones from Woodware. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then Woodware, that's probably expensive as well because you, Woodware needs to come from the UK. But they will find something. Ivy will find something for you. And I would say I'm driving in, uh, I'm driving to Canada, but I'll tell you, we are fully loaded already and we take games this time so no no space to take stuff i actually did take my own roll the last time let's say here yeah that's yeah mercedes because otherwise i have no idea how we can no i have actually for one for one of them i have a little photo box and have the things in there for the um for one of the inks that's that. And you can see this is really nice already. Yeah, if you do this and then. Uh, and you can watercolor this as well. Eh? So that's what I did with the other one. I will show you quickly. So that's a nice border. But you see just the leaf how pretty that is. Where's my. Oh here. There we go. And then now we can take this off, you see, because it's only two little pieces of double-sided adhesive. And if I want to, I can actually roll those off pretty easy because you don't want to have it stuck everywhere. I ordered magnetic roll from Home Depot. Home Depot. Oh, okay. I did not know Home Depot has that as well. So if Home Depot has it, then for Canada... Uh, uh, check out Canadian Tire then or something. Maybe they have it. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Okay. So that's that. Uh, so then I want to have... So what I did with this one, I actually took my uh, brush. Where's my brush? Here. 
and some water and I just water that out. You can also take uh, with this one, I stamped with the brown and then I used our watercolors for that. But you see that's, that's kind of, yeah, that's going to be fun. Put my stamp away because otherwise I lose that. And then I have water here. And if you see uh, what I did with the green one, I just go in with water and you kind of, you see, you can kind of spread this out a bit. Oh, that's actually really nice with this one as well. Let's do that quickly. Uh, so it's basically the other way around than I would normally think I would do it. Uh, because normally I would think, oh, then I uh, do the background first and then I do this. But I wanted to see, because if I'm going to do the, the background like with pressing ink down, you will see it will kind of... Uh, change that background what I have here because it will dilute that background again as well so uh, but I just like the idea of trying that and it turned out nice so uh, that's a little bit here and now I um, don't you feel like playing now if you see this and you think oh now I want to play I want to play this Oops, that's that. And now if you take one of, uh, like for instance, if you take uh, Sue Stamps, uh, Sue Smith Stamps, the words, the big words will be pretty in here as well. Now I know I have a sheet. I had it in here. Where the, oh, here it is. So now I'm going to put, so, uh, now I'm go so now I'm going to make the background with the two colors that I used. Or that I want to use for the for the background. So you can imagine, normally you would say, oh, I would do it the other way around. I would do this first and then the other uh, thing. Then the stamping. But I just wanted to try the other way around. So. And this is basically your craft mat. This is just one that I can throw out. So easy for me. And I have a this one here. So I'm going to put this here. So I'm going to spray that with water first. So that nothing, not everything is going to be wet i have a little mister here okay it might be too much but that's good let's see what happens i might need to do two rounds oh that's nice but you see what's happening so this one you see it will dilute that again and that, you know i like that i want to have a little bit more for sure but i'm also going to put a lot of stuff on there so it's uh I think I'm good here. See like that. That's good. I'm going to dry that. I have my uh, tool here. So I'm just going to spread out this already that you can see that we're going to play with. And then uh, I'll be back when this is dry. In a second. I just need to. Then I can read. Thank you, Alison. I know, Lisa. It's just fun. You know. Just try something else that you would normally do, and then uh, it comes. It just comes out differently, which I think is fun. And this is kind of a this is a much paler one that you want. And this one I also splattered after it with white, but that kind of disappeared a little bit. But uh, you can do that as well. And I can splatter with a. Well, I could do some splatters with a brown paint here, but I don't need to do that. Okay, I think I'm good. And again, with this one, it will probably disappear. I still see a little bit of um, uh, wet, so I'm just going to dab that off. I buy, in Canada, I buy some of the dollar store. They are, okay. Yeah, you know, it depends. You were still talking magnetic sheets, I think. Um, okay, here we go. Card, this one. And of course, I think with this one, you know, I just like my little tool. Yeah, Diane, one day, one day, uh, one day I need to come. You, where, where's, where's James that he didn't bark? He's not here. Do you know where James is, you? He's there? Oh, you, you came up and James didn't bark. That surprised me because normally he runs down. <laughs> there we go. He runs down. Okay. Then, thank you, Jackie. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah, 
Me too, actually. It's more, you know, it's a totally different. So that and that's of course that's what's fun about the stems because you can make them bright, you can make them uh, more realistic, you can make them more vintage, and you know, I just really liked it about it. That one, uh, this one, I will just stick on there. And of course, so there's a lot of uh, stamps in the set that you can actually use for beautiful backgrounds as well. And I put only a sentiment on it. That can be really pretty. So. There we go. So and don't forget, eh? Bloom 20 for 20% discount. And the link is in the in the comments here for 20 percent discount and it ends next week so on friday uh david will be here and then on um on monday i will be back and then on wednesday it will be marga and the special runs till wednesday that's actually you see this is actually pretty pretty i think by itself but now i need to bring in the curigated because that's the challenge for the month and this one was very thick, and I but I don't want to have the big part here. I'm going to take this one. And this one uh, is also a little bit thicker, so I'm going to run this through my uh, die cutting machine and flatten it out a bit. Otherwise, it is too thick uh, for my liking in this case. So I'm just going to run it through. And um, we use a lot of curagated in, uh, in our journals, actually, which is fun. Fun, fun, fun. So now it's fl more flat. So I'm kind of going to tear it a little bit. And this is from boxes because if you have boxes, they are really good for casting. Because this one, you still see a little bit of the outside. You can just uh, tear that off, which is fun. So I want to have this here. I'm going to use a little bit of that here. Oh, now you don't see the... If I do that at the bottom, you see it more. So I'm going to put it at the bottom. And I think I'm going from left to right. So completely from here to here. It doesn't need to be. And I can tear it here. There we go. Oh, I oh a bee. You know, I came across when I cleaned up. I came across that little bee from. Um, but a bee, you know, I'll, I'll tell you about the, the bee. Uh, you know, I was in contact with a. Uh, uh, with Diane and Sonia already about a bee. So, and there's a bee, um, Esther has a bee, but Sonia made some really nice bees already. Really nice ones. So, be patient, be patient. And we might listen. Oh, no, do you see I used the same one here? Oh, I didn't realize that when I... Uh, was working and preparing this. I'm going to put this over here a little bit. So here it's on here. So I'm going to put one of those. You know, I just realized that I used the same design twice. We need to make some. I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, uh, Diane. So lift this a little bit. And then I have these fun. Pa I want to have this in there somehow. Oh, I can also put like, no, that's too much. And I had this parcel post. I kind of like that one. But then I need a little piece of ribbon, which I don't have. Because I like that black. I found this piece, which is fun. I can put that stick through here. Let's do that. So this is also from Ilse and Charlene. And I use that. As I have... Oh, that's actually cool. Like that. You see, just like, uh, because I like that black, so I found this piece, I thought, oh, that's cool to use on here. I can also put it here, and then pull this through. Yeah, going to do that. Alrighty, Go I'm working on a get well card, and I'm going to use the flowers that you did. Oh, okay, oh, that's great. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Okay. Just put a little bit of glue here. Thank you, Alison. I can also put it here. Now I like it there. Kind of just slide it. I did put a little bit of glue on there. So I'm just sliding that there. And then this one will stick here. 
And this one sticks here. So that's that. Is that straight? So there's not a lot of corrugated on here, but that's fine. Does it need to be? What's that? I need to put this down a little bit there, just a little bit of glue. And I like that piece there. Let me see where I am going to put my butterfly. I have this, so if I want to, I could use a little piece there. I kind of like that. Yeah, doing that. And I can trim that off. I know, Alison, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. And that's what I say. That's why it's so nice that I have my stuff here that I do not need to um, kind of, you know, I just can grab things here, which is pretty nice. And this one I can leave just to trim it off. Or I can, this is actually a flat card because that's easy for me. So I'm just going to, because I like that as well. Just going to fold it over. And do I want to have it back at the top as well? Not too much. That's fine. And am I going to put a butterfly on here? Da, 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 da. On the side here. Or am I? I like this one. That was a piece I used before. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I like that. What did you stamp the parcel post on? That is one of the labels from, um, from the art journal. Uh, no, not from the art journal, from um, Esther's collection. It comes in a label set. Uh, what is it? Uh, label, is it labels and banners? Or I can... Um, if you go, if you see, there's, there's one set with all the labels. That's where it's in. And that's a popular one because it has stamps to go with it. And yeah. I like that. And then I think my butterfly might not make it on here because that's just too much. I can do it this way, slide it underneath here. Then it's flying the other way. Because do I want it? No, I think it's too much. I should have cut an, uh, I should have had a smaller one then. Maybe if I slide it. No, I have corrugated on here. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's fine. I have all these. You know, these are all the little things from the art journal line. This one I thought was nice because it's the same color. I'm just going to see if one added. But I actually like the, the background like this. So um, I might just leave it like that. So it's a small part of the challenge. But that's fine because you can use as much as you want. Just going to see if I want to put this one here somewhere. But I don't think so because it's too big. But sometimes you're surprised about if you put things. Oh, that's actually, you see? By sliding it completely under there, I like that. I like that because now I have that color coming back. So uh, I'm just going to tear this off. So this is also Ilse and Charlene. Also Ilse and Charlene. Oh, okay, so yeah, I, I like this. I know what you mean, Sylvia, but I like it here. If I tuck this underneath here and just shows a little bit, now kind of brings that color back up there. And I like that. Um, so I hope you like that as well, uh, Sylvia. Thank you. And this, go this goes back in my box. This goes back in my box. Alrighty, that is it for today. This was fun. I had fun. I hope you had fun. I had fun for sure. Let's put this away. And I will take pictures, of course, uh, from the cards so you can see them all. So we did three cards. You see, I didn't even realize that it was the same stamp. So you can imagine how many different things you can do with that. That was fun. I like it. Okay, let's turn the camera around, Mike. And I'm going to say goodbye. So um, again, don't forget, Bloom 20, 20% 20 discount on all the stamps and dies from Diane and Sonja. Uh, runs till next Wednesday when um, uh, Marga will kind of end the special. And you know, Marga is very good with these uh, beautiful uh, dies and stamps. So uh, you will be surprised, of course, always. And on Friday, David will be here. Monday, I will be there. So I want to thank you all for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.